Welcome to GM Institute of Technology or GMIT Davangere, a dream destination for all the academic seekers. Established in the year 2001 by the Sri Shaila Educational Trust, GMIT is a high-tech institute with a vision to provide quality technical education. Hi everyone, I am Nikhil from E section GMIT. I am here by to telling the introduction of Pelton wheel. It was a hydroelectric power generating turbine. It was invented by Lester Lalam Pelton. He was an American inventor who contributed significance to the development of hydroelectricity and power in old western worldwide. Its main purpose is to generate electricity by using water. It was invented in the year of 1970. Thank you. Pelton turbine is invented by Lester Allen Pelton in the 1870s. It was the first time the energy in the water converted to power in most efficient manner. Due to its simplicity, the Pelton turbine is the most widely used water turbine in the world. Pelton wheels are the preferred turbine for hydropower, when the available water source has relatively high hydraulic head at low flow rates. The efficiency of this turbines increases with water head. There are 200 megawatt Pelton turbines in operation where water head exceeds 1000 meters. Small Pelton turbines with enough water flow can operate as low as 15 meter water head. Pelton turbine converts the potential energy in water to kinetic energy in the nozzle. Therefore they are impulse type turbines, which the water strikes the turbine blades with high velocity. For example for the water head of 1000 meter the jet velocity coming from the nozzle could be 135 meter per second. Here is an actual wheel of a Pelton turbine which is almost has 2 meter diameter. The spoon shaped buckets shown in here are bolted to the main discs of the wheel. The buckets are designed in such a way that, 
it splits the water jet into two parts, and each part of the jet make a U-turn in both sides of the wheel. Also notice the tip of the buckets, where a round open section, combined with the groove at the back of the bucket, allows the water to strike the right bucket to produce maximum power. The buckets of these kind turbines could be as much as 150 kg. Assuming that the average wheel has 20 buckets, the total weight of the buckets around the rim of the wheel reaches to 3 ton. This makes whole wheel act like a very large flywheel. Since the water head is fixed, the power output of the turbine is controlled by adjusting volumetric rate of water. In the Pelton turbine this is accomplished by moving the spear, or sometimes called the needle, back and forth by a servo mechanism. Notice that how the diameters of the water jet get smaller or larger depending on the position of the spear. If flow rate goes to zero, the wheel keep turning such a long time due to flywheel effect generated by heavy buckets. To prevent the wheel rotating such a long time braking flow is used. A small water jet is sent to the back of the buckets to break the rotation of the wheel. Hi, hello, I am Manoj. I explaining the few remaining parts of the Pelton wheel. I explaining the runner and buckets. Runner is the circular wheel with the series of evenly spaced bucket fixed around its periphery. Buckets are shaped like a bowl or double hemispherical cup. The advantage of having double cup shaped bucket is that the jet of a water gets split and leaves symmetrically on both sides of the bucket. Hi everyone, I am Brutunjay BM from B section GMIT. I am here by to telling the working of Pelton wheel. The Pelton wheel stored at high head is made to flow through the penstock and reaches the nozzle of the turbine. The nozzle increases the kinetic energy of the water and directs the water in the form of jet. The jet of water from the nozzle strikes the buckets or veins of the runner. This made the runner to rotate at very high speed. The quantity of water striking the veins or buckets is controlled by the spare present inside the nozzle. The generator is attached to the shaft of the runner which converts the mechanical energy or rotational energy of the runner into the uh, electrical energy. I am Mohammad Aftab. I am here to give the advantages of Pelton wheel. It is amongst the most efficient of hydro turbines. It operates with very flat efficiency curve, ideal for operations in silted water. It is a type of impulse turbine. It operates on high head and low discharge. There is no cavitation because the water jet strikes only the specific portion of runner and its overall efficiency is high. Pelton turbine efficiency decreases very quickly with time. In Pelton turbine size runner generator and power house required is large. In Pelton turbine variation in the operating head is very difficult to control. In Pelton turbine the operating head cannot be utilized even when the variation in tall water level is large when compared to total level. Pelton wheel are preferred turbine for hydropower when the available water source has relative high hydraulic head at flow rate. Pelton wheels are made in all size for maximum power and efficiency. The wheel and turbine system is designed such that the water jet velocity is twice the velocity of the rotating buckets. There exist in multi-ton Pelton wheels mounted on vertical oil pad bearing in hydro hydroelectric power.